Hello and welcome to Romero Threads. In today's video, we are going to talk about what is the eye test. The eye test is very useful in analyzing our tension. So real quick, I wanna show you how to go about first setting up your eye test. So this could work for any program, okay? This is basic of the basics of setting up, digitizing, okay? So you wanna go to your lettering and we want to go letter I, capital, letter I, block two, works perfect. We're going to create one right now, so create text. All right, now, let me take out the proportional. So height, you want it to be one inch. Okay, and width, we want to change it to metric. Width, we want to go five millimeters. Okay, you can go five, you could go six. Actually, let me go ahead, let me do six, just so we can get more information out of our satin stitch, okay? We're halfway there. Now we wanna take away some of this underlay. Let's just leave a center run and a zigzag, that's fine there. Okay, one thing, you wanna make sure that your auto spacing is off, just so it doesn't add any unnecessary stitches to our sand stitch. All right, 38 is fine, so we are good. This is very basic eye stitch, okay? And this here is one. So this is gonna give us information on one needle. So now we just wanna duplicate this. Okay, so Control D. This is with most all uh, digitizing software. It's usually Control D, okay? Then we just click and move it to the right a little. Okay, now gonna do the same thing. Control D, move it to the left, to move it to the right. Click, okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And actually you could just do this. Copy all these, duplicate and click shift. Okay, so some programs they have, so you could space them evenly. Okay, so across, all right, so these are evenly spaced, let me see. So you, you, can, you can measure the distance that they're apart. So M, usually with all programs. Okay, so we have 2.5 millimeters. All right, that's fine. Inches, and we are, let's see, width, we are pretty much five inches wide, okay? Perfect for uh, the hoop that I'm going to use. Okay, now we just wanna make sure we, we are in order. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. We have, we're five by one. So I will have this file available for free download just so you can use it and run your own tests, okay? But what I'm going to do you can always move these around, okay? Depending on how on how your hoop is set up, okay? So the downloadable will, will look like this, okay? But if you need to move anything around, okay? You can always grab your stitches and move them around, okay? Depending how your hoop is set up. Okay, so I'm gonna save this. Let's go ahead and let's analyze our stitches. Okay, so I am ready to go. I have my hoop right here. Make sure we are nice and flat back here. If you use this type of hoop, just make sure you you change your orientation, okay? So instead of our eye test going from left to right, we're going to go from bottom up. Okay, our eye test is complete. Now it's time to analyze our bobbin. Okay, so let me see. See if get you a good view right here. Okay, so this green one, this is our number one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's first look at this green here. See if you get a good view. Okay, so we are uh, a little bobbin heavy. Okay, something you have to know that's very important is, okay, this is my number one top tension. 
this is my number one bottom tension okay one turn from the top equals three down here all right so if I want to loosen this okay so if I want to loosen number one okay I'm just gonna go counterclockwise one two and then I can go two here one two just so they could match okay I like to have my tensions kind of matching together but this here is just fine details okay let's look at number two our blue looks pretty good all right but we can loosen up our number two also a tad bit okay same thing with number three same thing with number four five six these are just small touches one two three four five six seven okay so from here all the way to seven one two one two one two one two one two all right same thing here one two one two one two one two one two one two all right now the bobbin you could adjust the bobbin but i would rather just adjust those slightly okay so we went all the way to number seven one two three four five six seven okay this one good 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 and this black one was the one that i had in my previous video okay that was kind of loose so that was kind of tight i mean okay so we're going to loosen that and then these other ones they were already good okay so we are going to one two three that's good and here on 11 one two three okay so those adjustments should bring us back to a good good tension okay feels fresh feels, feels nice and flat very clean here Okay, so here, top, round one, okay, and then round two. Round one was very good, and round two, we just did little subtle changes. We didn't do anything major, but if you do have, okay, if you do have one, like maybe this one, okay, we could have maybe not been so conservative and gone a little bit more loose on the top thread, okay, but it's still good to go, all right. You can always overanalyze them, but ballpark one third, close to one third. Okay, if you're at 33%, perfect. If you're at 28%, okay, that's fine. Okay, you're not always going to be exactly one third because it's kind of impossible to measure one third exactly. Okay, so as long as you're in ballpark figures, you should be good. All right, so there you go. That's the eye test from beginning to end. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And like always, peace out.